Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how to add navigation to your website using the CSS menus action. One good reason to use CSS menus is that the text in them is HTML text, which means that it's user and SEO friendly. Another good reason to use it is that it allows an easy way to highlight the page that you're currently on. CSS menus are best used on your master page, that way the same menu appears on all of the pages with the same settings. So, let's get started. First, you need to draw an HTML item where your navigation will go. Then, double click inside the item and type up every page that you will want to include a link to. Then select the entire list so you can format it as an HTML list. To do this, expand the list area and click the indent option in the inspector. Once you've typed up the list, you'll need to apply the links to each item. Simply select each line of text and add the appropriate link. Once you've done that, click outside of the box. The next step is to select the item and apply the CSS menus action via Item, Actions, CSS menus. In order to see what the menu is going to look like, you should go to one of your pages and preview. As you can see, the default style doesn't match most people's website, but this is where the magic happens. Go ahead and go back to your master page. Select your menu again, and open up the Actions panel with Window, Actions. Here you'll see we have quite a few settings. Highlight Current Page is the one I mentioned earlier, where it will make it obvious what page you're on, so I'd recommend checking that. Next, under Size and Shape, you can decide what direction you want your menu to go. Mine's going to be horizontal, so I'm going to leave that option alone. You can also set if you want each menu item to be the same width, or if each one should be the width of the text inside of it. I'm going to set mine to do that. You can also set the padding, which determines the spacing of the buttons. I'm going to make mine a little bit bigger. Under the Links section, you'll find the spot to change the colors. I'm going to set mine so that they are a light pink color until you hover over them and then they'll turn white. I'm also going to make the current page link white so that it stands out from the rest. You also have an option to add background colors or images to the buttons. Since I have a textured header, I'm going to go ahead and leave the background blank for mine. Next up is the border. If you check custom borders, you can do a different border on each side. For my menu, I'm going to turn borders off. That remaining line is the item divider. I'm also going to turn those off, as well as arrow. But if you expand those sections, you will see that you have other options for those as well. So now, let's preview the page and check out the menu. As you can see, since I'm on the home page, the home link is white. When I hover over them, the other links turn white. If I preview the news page, then the news page shows white, and so on and so forth. If you need to change the look of your text, you can do that the same way as always, either by applying a style to it, or by changing it in the inspector. You can change the font, the style, and the size, but it's very important that you don't change the color in the inspector. The color should be handled only in the Actions panel. Now, let's show you how to do a submenu. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to duplicate the news page a couple times to simulate some news articles. Now I have three fake news articles. Back on the master page, 
Double click inside the menu to edit it. I'm going to add new lines for News 1, News 2, and News 3. And again, create the links to the appropriate pages. Now what I really want is for the news articles to be submenus of the news header. To do that, I will select the three news articles and I will click the indent button one more time. Now they're indented under the news item. If I preview my page again, when I hover over news, then those items appear underneath it. Now again we see that the default style doesn't really match the rest of the site, so we're going to want to fix that. Let's go back to the master, select the menu, and open up the Actions window again. Here at the top you'll see that we were editing the main menu settings. Now we want to edit the submenu settings. The submenu settings are many of the same options as the main menu settings. You can go through and set these manually, but for my menu I'm going to go ahead and use the main menu settings so that it matches. Now if I preview my menu again, My submenu looks like my main menu. One last thing, if you find that your menu item is getting a little long and overlapping other items on your master page, you can go ahead and shorten it up. If the height isn't set to fixed in the inspector, you should change that. And then go ahead and make the menu just as tall as it needs to be in order to fit the menu. And that's it. That's how you add CSS menu navigation to your website.